What's going on guys? Johnny with Blaze Grass Lawn Care and welcome to another video. Now this is my guardian angel device. Again, it's a warning because I'm parked on the other side of the street. So traffic, incoming traffic can see my vehicle. I chose this time not to put up a cone and just personal preference. I don't have a real reason. And no, we don't get in trouble for parking on the wrong side of the road in my area. So in this video, we're going to, we're going to talk about how to make money mowing lawns and how to be proficient and efficient at what we do right because the goal is to make money guys it's not to sit around driving around from point a to point b windshield time wasting money right especially when you have somebody with you you're paying them a salary for what to sit in the vehicle and suck up the ac that's not what we're here for we're here to consolidate our properties and make as much money as possible in the least time allotted so I'm gonna put a link right up here to a video that I did many, many moons ago on how I made my marketing postcard. Again, it's not a postcard, it is a business card, guys, and believe me, it is the easiest, most efficient, cheapest way to market the business, and it works. I don't use all that fluff. There's a logo, my, my business name, a telephone number, website, and, and, and you know, what you do lawn care just market lawn care guys don't market pavers and and shrubs and fertilizer and, and this and that and the other no no customers don't have that much time to, to be reading all your all that mumbo jumbo market lawn care now once you get into the customer property and you have that account then you can market everything else that you provide simple as that it makes it easier convenient for the customer they look at it they know exactly what you do and most customers know that if you do lawn care guys most likely you do everything else when it comes to mulch and everything else right so now in this little area right here I have four properties that I have to do the one directly where the vehicle is parked the one beside it and I'll show you in a few minutes and the two directly in front so I'll show you that in a few minutes and then I'm gonna grab my blower my string trimmer lock everything up jump on my mower and ride over to my other two properties right that's a total of six properties that I'm going to hit now to be upfront with you guys I usually do this in two hours and 45 minutes but in this particular video I did it in two hours and about 30 minutes and that's because the rain was coming so I film three of my mowings uh, and again, I couldn't film the other one guys because I was in a rush. I'm not gonna lie, the rain was coming and my goal was to provide you guys with some info and also uh, get these uh, properties done. So these are the properties that I have to do and I will return to. So let me ride over here. So now the main goal that I passed the other two and not stop there is because guys, again, we're saving on gas, right? We parked the vehicle in one spot and we just jump over these two properties right here and we are at the ones that I have to do. Real quick, simple. And again, yes, you could have just parked there and then start the vehicle and move again, but why, right? Nah, makes no sense. So again, the goal is to get your properties, bunch them up, and that's called consolidating your properties. And now how do you consolidate your properties? Is anytime you service a property, wherever, whatever subdivision, or location that you want to be in every time that you do a service you just walk up to five properties around that particular property and just drop your card in front of their door right the mat the door I don't put them on the mailboxes or whatever the case might be un unless you know you want to it's up to you and it works guys because what the customer sees is they see your logo your name all the time and yes, I do it all the time, whether they're doing their own lawn or not, I always place my card by the door. So if they do go out, like let's say on a family vacation or whatever the case might be, and they need me to come in and just maintain their property while they're gone, fine. I take it over and, you know, eventually once they see the crisp way that we, that I actually mow their property, then I, you know, take it over. 
Now, the goal, guys, is to do the best job possible. We are not rushing here. We are not cutting corners. You know, again, the goal is to get customers that want a scheduled service. That's why I target subdivisions. Me personally, I like subdivisions because, again, I don't have to travel too far and I'm in one subdivision area the whole day and I'm getting all my properties done. Minimizing the amount of traveling time, which is, you know, which we call windshield time and minimizing the, you know, again, waste of time. That's not what we want, right? Now you ask, I know you're going to ask, how much do I charge for these properties? Some of these properties are 55 bucks per cut and some are 60 bucks per cut. Usually 55 bucks per cut if you don't have a fence. Okay, if I have to utilize, like say this one right here, I have to utilize uh, the 36 to get in there. And as you can tell, I don't have the 36 with me. So what did I have to do? I had to push more. But luckily that the backyard is not that big. The backyard is pretty small compared to the other ones. Now, some of these are 60 buck, bucks and I can get in there with the 48 inch, but the backyard is super big. Okay, so again, this is how much I charge in my area and not saying that this is how much you should charge some some states you can charge more so again it depends on the area that you're targeting uh, and and the type of homes that you're mowing right so think about that now the sequence excuse me that I'm using to be as efficient as possible and again because of the rain as well is that I'm mowing first then I edge them up then I trim them up then I blow them that's it now uh, if you guys have any questions guys please leave them in the comment below let me know what you think about this if you are a professional that has been doing this for a while and you have other ways that we can get this accomplish again the goal is to minimize the windshield time and to increase our profitability so please leave it in a comment below and also keep in mind guys a lot of you guys will comment these properties don't need mowing yes they do if it didn't need mowing the customer will not pay for it this is southern turf that we mow low okay and you're viewing this these properties from the top so you can see exactly how much I'm taking off. All right, so just, just keep them in mind. Other than that, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos, guys. Please leave your comment, like, and subscribe. And guys, please share my videos. You know, I want you guys to, again, learn from the way I do things. Now, keep in mind, the way I do things is not the 100% way that you should do it. Of course, we all have different ways of doing things. But the difference is that I am sharing and you're not. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a blessed one. Enjoy.